Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim. I decided to make a video finding famous PKers, quote unquote famous or well known people that you might have seen. I thought it might be interesting for you guys, and I like to say that I'm not trying to be cocky by posting this video. Before we start this video, I wanted to mention that RuneScape PKing in general is luck. So, timing's involved, judgment, when you should do a certain thing, and also RuneScape's generated system, which chooses what you're going to hit. Among these three, I'd say that luck comes into play the most. You're probably wondering what I consider luck, and I'm, I'm talking about when you hit a number. You're not choosing what that number is. It's not like you're saying, Jagex, I'm going to hit 45. I'm going to hit 50. I'm going to pop another 35 and kill him. It's not like that. It's RuneScape's system that's choosing those numbers, and that's what I mean by luck. I mean, sure, you can increase your gear, you can increase your weapons, and sure, that'll make you hit better, and it'll make you hit more constant, but it doesn't change the fact that you're cho you're not choosing the numbers that you're going to hit. All right, guys, I'm just going to commentate over these clips and maybe say a few things about the person that I'm fighting. This guy's name is Dick Bill, and we're both pretty much in welfare gear. It was obvious that he didn't really care about dying, and that's kind of the annoying thing when you're PKing as a well-known PKer. People expect you to never die. So respect to him especially dying to me he probably thought that I was going to make a video flaming him or something which I would never do of course not and this guy is no one's perfect I'm not gonna lie I mean this guy had a rivalry back in the day when he used to make videos but I never really liked him he wasn't very nice of a person I'd, I'll put it like that recently a little thing happened between me and Grosscore and I'm not going to mention it because my account was threatened to be removed by him because of his partnership status, so I'm not even going to mention it. But anyway, Grosscore basically said that Taco Limey was going to do me in and down me, acting like Taco was his little puppet. But me and Taco decided to do our own little thing and at each other and set up some fights. We did two death matches. By the way, it was the same inventory, same gear. For the first one, at least. The second one, I let him use a Gethin's body, and he showed up with d legs, which was a little little uncalled for but I still respect the guy for staying for both fights 380 380 pretty much through the mystic was pretty lucky even though he wasn't mystic so he can pretty much pop a really nice number in result I won both death matches and he stayed so respect to taco limey this is a clip of me fighting gross score it was originally a clip off BH vid one I didn't have the original clip so I had to take it off of there I think it's safe to say that this guy doesn't know what he's doing when he enters the wild, and I don't mean that offensively, but he's not as bad as Nightmare RH. He he uh, puts on his own little show, but Gross Score, I think he tries to PK legitly, and he just doesn't end up too well while doing so. This is a fight between me and Hero XV2. We are pretty much in the same gear. I'm not sure what his spec weapon was, but that VLS was a nice, juicy, tender KO. On to the next clip. Oh, you bleed red. This was back when I started making videos on Spark Mac 1. Back in the day, it always seemed like me and him were trying to kill each other. And I've recently spoken to him, and he's actually a pretty cool guy. So respect to you, you bleed red. Keep it up, even though he quit making videos months ago. A lot of you guys probably don't know who this is, but this guy's name is Skullator. He was a Mage Bank PKer back in the day, or at least that's what he was known as. Don't you remember when DI would rush Mage Bank? I remember. I was a new back then. I would always solo PK. I would TB by myself or I'd have a friend with me. And whenever they showed up, I knew I was pretty much screwed. And he was one of those people. I'm not sure if he wasn't DI, but he was one of those type of PKers that would PK in the big Arams teams at Mage Bank. And I guess that's all I have to say for Skull Eater. This is me versus Goku SJ4. At the time, we were targets. And I had recently gotten my Divine. So that's probably why you don't see a Rune Defender switch in my inventory. I wasn't aware of the Divine Prodness that was going on. But anyway, of all fun, it was a good fight. WTF Fox and I decided to deathmatch with the same gear and same inventory. There really wasn't much to the fight. It didn't last very long, as you'll see in a few seconds. I bet Tim's got claws. What? We agreed to DDS, you little freak. And just like that, the fight was... Don't call your fan a freak. I heard that down in the basement. Well, now that you're here, Lil Willis, do you want to handle this last one? Sure thing. Which one is it? Oh, it's Kensty. The guy that prayed every single time you attacked him and flames you 24-7 on every single video that has your name in it. Okay, Kensty. Uh, yeah, I do not think I have the slightest bit of respect for this guy. For one, 
he threatens to DDoS. Two, every single chance he gets, he flames me. And trust me, I've seen a lot of flame from him. And three, when he attempts to tell you to drop out of school so you can play RuneScape more often, don't do that. That is a stupid idea, and you will not get anywhere in life. Unless you're Bill Gates, of course, and you drop out of college knowing exactly what you're going to do. Actually, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it started out of his garage. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video.